Welcome back everybody to Quarantine Cooking. My name is Chef Mark Segovia with Segovia's Catering. We're here at the beautiful Neon Exchange with Tony Bowles behind the camera. Hello, How are you doing, Tony? We're on episode 37, you guys. Uh, Santa Clara County just switched to a red tier. So you guys are going out more. Make sure you're still being safe out there, you guys. We're going to keep this going until we're completely out of quarantine. Amen. Away from COVID, we're still going to be here for you guys, giving you great recipes, all right? Today we do have a blackened mahi with a fresh cucumber salsa. Yummy. Really easy. Uh, people always have the trouble with blackening, so I'm going to show you guys a, a quick blackening uh, recipe. Really easy, you guys. And we'll get you guys rocking and rolling at the house. We do have a special guest today. First, we want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette at the YMCA. Hello, Andrea. How are you doing, Andrea? We miss you. Hope you're doing safe out there. We do have a special guest today, somebody I've known forever. Uh, someone that's doing a great job out here, rocking and rolling. We have Lorian Parado, and she just changed her last name to Huerta recently. <laughs> she got married what, a year ago? Uh, yeah, uh, about a year ago. ago. So we have Lorianne, health, guys. wellness, and beauty, rock and roll. Hi, Lorianne. Hi, guys. Welcome. Thank you so kindly. So, what exactly is Lorianne's health, well, wellness, and beauty? Yeah. Well, Lorianne's health, wellness, and beauty is um, helping people within treating on the inside and out right mm -hmm. not only um, facials and helping you with fine lines wrinkles discoloration but also helping you on the inside with the proper nutri um, with the proper nutrition nice 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 well something big just recently happened with your small business right yes and what exactly was that well the biggest thing that's happening in my life right now is i just joined the neon exchange and i'm just so excited to be a part of this wonderful team here in the heart of downtown Gilroy working with Tony and Mark and all of the other staff on board. Yes, your office number six officially on the second floor. You can find Lorianne. Isn't it beautiful up there? It's oh so my beautiful. gosh. The whole building is beautiful, but yes, when you step into my serene spa mm -hmm. treatment room, it's wonderful. Yeah, it got redesigned. Quick so question for you. Quick question. Ever. How did you come up with it during, because uh, you opened it during COVID, right? Well, you know, I've been doing this since 2002, very okay. part-time, Mark. You know, um, I was in the healthcare industry for over 25 years, wow. and I did my skin um, care business on evenings and weekends. Um, but in but you took that leap of faith during, during yeah. the quarantine. That's right. During yeah. quarantine, um, I had to resign from my, you know, full-time work out there uh, due to, you know, COVID, and I took a leap on faith and just started drumming up as the best I could with what I had. And now God blessed me and this is another leap of faith yeah. and here I am now. Yes. Right on. I yes. love hearing you, stories like that because go, we're hearing so many stories like that yeah. during quarantine. People just gave a leap of faith and and it's working. Amen. And, it's, and it's going. So we love your story. And yes, and we're, we're going to get cooking. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'll tell you, I'm sorry we don't have lobster and, and crab legs. <laughs> Did I tell you guys eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> seafood fanatics but you know what i told them that's okay that's for another time so we got some mahi today i know you like mahi nice. right so first thing first always with the cast iron turn it on you guys okay get that sucker nice and hot especially when you're blackening stuff mm -hmm. you want to make sure your pan's nice and hot where you're seeing the steam come off from the oil you want it a little probably the smoking it's smoking with uh well, i'm gonna put the oil in right now when the oil starts smoking it's That's ready. when it's ready to blacken. Okay. So we'll let that go for a second. I'm going to show you guys the mixture. Have you ever done a homemade um, blackening recipe? No, I have not. So one thing I always tell people is don't put a lot of salt. You can add salt later. Okay. Maybe, maybe just, you just want to put a little bit, you guys. We're going to start off with a little bit because you can always add salt to your dish after. Okay. Um, if you put too, too much salt in the blackening and you blacken it, uh -huh. you're done. That's the, it's the salt's not going to come off unless you wash it off, which... You don't want to do that. We're working with dry goods. Right? Yes, right. Um, let me go over what we're showing, what we have here. Okay. We're going to have some uh, dried garlic. Okay. Paprika. That smoked, the Hungarian paprika. You don't want the more smokiness. That's the reason why they use this in the blackening for the smoke flavor. Okay. We have uh, onion powder. Some dried thyme. Okay. We have some uh, chili powder, which is it's going to be, the, it's not really spicy. Uh, again, for the smokiness and for the very light spice. Uh... We have pepper and we have salt. Okay. Thank you for asking though. Yes. And you can add anything you want to this. You could do like a chili lime one. 
Well, I was you know, just thinking. Yeah, you could do that. Just, in my mind, I was thinking, mm, lemon yeah, you, might be a little good there. Let's, let's mix all these in here. Let's mix all these in here. And we're going to put half of that paprika because I don't want it too, too dark. We're going to put onion about there. And play with them. You guys make your own at home. Play with them. You might like more onion. You might like mm -hmm. more garlic. I'm just putting about, about two tablespoons of each in here. Okay. Try it time. It smells good, huh? Oh, it smells wonderful. I have salt in there already, so I'm going to add some pepper. Just like so. Look at this. And you're just mixing it. I just did a quick little mix. Okay. Does that look awesome right there? Mm -hmm. really Smell good. that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that smells great. So let's put everything in here. I'm going to put everything in here. Let's just, let's just go buck wild. <laughs> okay, let's go. Are you okay with heat there, Lorianne? Yeah, absolutely. A little bit. Okay. Spice, yes. okay. There we go. So now we have, I have about four fillets I'm going to be doing. Okay. So there we go, like that. Perfect. You want to pull out the mahi out of the fridge for me, please? Absolutely. I have my sous chef here. She's killing me. <laughs> So I'm going to put the oil in now. Okay. And you want one layer of oil. Not too deep. You just want it. Uh, it's actually, it's going to be right here on this side. Let's see. Plate. Sorry about that. No worries. So it's just going to cover the bottom. You don't want it deep frying. Just want a quick sear. Got it. So when you see that oil come out, that's when it's going to be ready. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you so much. So on this guy, let's put a little bit of oil on, on these. And these are nice mahi fillets. I love mahi because it's uh, they're still meaty, they're light. Those fillets look really good. There we go. Look at these. These are amazing. And so they came like that with skin, skinless and everything. Skinless, boneless. They're really clean. Okay. They're nice and thick too. Who does the cooking in your house? You do? Yep. Muggs don't cook at all? Nope. Come on, Muggs. Hi, Muggsie. You don't want to burn the mustache, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So what we're going to do here is just flatten it. Okay, let me watch that. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. So how's your new uh, building upstairs? Oh, I love it. it I really do. So what did you think when you first moved in? You're like, this place is amazing. Uh, oh, yes. When I took a tour, my mouth was like, the whole <laughs> on the whole tour, I was like speechless. And then I think I started talking. Once we were upstairs, I just couldn't. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have before and after picture to show everybody mm -hmm, that comes out here. Right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you've been seen this place before. It was like, ooh. No, no Mark. I, I had never seen this place before. We were actually just taking a little walk. And um, yeah, Muggsy's like, ooh, this looks cool. Let's go check it out. And I says, no, I'm not. I'm cool. I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> and. By the time you knew it, we were in here upstairs, and like I said, I was, you couldn't shut me up after I got upstairs. I was just like so impressed down to the bathrooms, down to the floors. I was like, wow. Yeah, I think even the uh, people were doing selfies in the bathroom, right? Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if I ever see a selfie in the Neon Exchange bathroom on Facebook, I'm reporting it. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. Be, you would recognize like, the bathroom. Quick, I'm like, yeah, hey, check it out. There yeah, it is. yeah. But so we're going to bring we, this over here. We are so lucky to have you, Lorian. Your spirit and your glow and your positive attitude. And you're so, um, you're very social and you're warm. You warm up quickly to people. So it's oh. it's a blessing to have you there, the, with us. Yeah. Thank you so kindly. That means yeah. a lot to me. Thank yeah. you. So now you know how to make a black and uh Oh, wow. Look at uh, this. A black and seasoning. Yes, absolutely. So you could do that with salmon, chicken, nice. steak. On chicken, it comes out awesome, awesome. Really? Like I said, you could do to get some. Uh, I have a chili lime already dried and, and like powder. Mm -hmm. Do some of that. Forget about it. That's awesome. You know, Mark. You know, I cook a lot of seafood. Yeah. You know, so I make different rubs, but this rub, I mean, I'm making notes in my mind yeah. because this one's really good. It looks really, really good. I'm gonna so, definitely do so it. So come here. You see that smoke? Let me see. Yeah, smoke yeah. coming out for it? Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So you're going to hear. We want it to go down. Mm -hmm. We're going to do four. We've got to feed everybody here, guys. Okay. We don't. We miss anybody, we're in trouble. And I have a question, Mark. Yes. So what temperature did you lower it down to? No, it's on high. It's still on high. Okay, so you keep it on high. Keep it on high because even though the oil, the oil was 
was already smoking, when you put in the fillets, it lowered the temperature of the oil I instantly. So if I would have lowered it to, to low and it added the fish, it would have lowered it even lower. Okay. If you have cold going into hot, it lowered it down a little bit. Oh. You want to keep it hot. Right on, thank you. For no that problem, no problem. A lot of people do that, don't lower it and be like, oh, I'm gonna burn it well, or something. That's it, depends, I mean. it depends what you're cooking. You know what I mean? Sure. It depends what you're cooking. Look at these gloves over here. Okay. Can you get me another plate right here, Lorian? Absolutely. Lorian, my uh, lovely uh, sous chef today. <laughs> yeah. And I love to cook. Mark knows that, yeah. so <laughs> this was. Can you throw a couple of napkins on there? Absolutely. This was definitely. Um, an invitation I was not going to decline. Oh my God, they look amazing. They smell good. Too. Oh my God. So we're gonna get these cooked up and then we're gonna start the salsa right now. Here you guys. we go, you guys. We're gonna take a look at this one. What you're looking at is for a solid sear. Look at that. Oh, nice, I blackened. That's what you're looking for, just like that. Filling in all those flavors, you guys. So how did you know to turn it over? You did tiny, uh, estimated? The oil talks to me. Oh. Now we were checking it. We're just checking it right now. If it wasn't as dark, uh -huh. I would have turned it back on. on. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the other one. That was perfect. Okay. And after 22 years, it's all intuition. You know what I mean? Um, people always ask me, like, how do you know? I'm like, oh. like Mark, that, was about, that was about two minutes. Yeah, yeah, roughly about two to three minutes. That's what you're looking for. And I look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. These are just beautiful. And you gotta, and you gotta just watch out for the oil. You gotta be gentle with it. You gotta talk to it. How you doing? <laughs> you know, we get them down. See how I did it nice and slow. I was because there's oil, hot oil. This stuff will burn you. Go real slow. Take your time. Make sure you're safe. Make sure you have the right equipment. You have a spatula. It's actually a fish spatula made to turn fish over. So you know, it has all the rivets, so everything could, all the pressure could go under it, and uh, so it's easy to flip. So okay. this was actually made for fish. So. We'll finish that right here. And I thought another two minutes, and we're good, you guys. And okay. let's, we'll put that to the side, and then we'll start our salsa right now. Okay. Here we go, you guys. So we're going to take these out here. That was about how much time total? Uh, you're looking about two minutes. Let okay. me the other side. I'm going to flip it so you can see the other side. Look at that. Okay. Beautiful blackening. Uh, okay. That's what the color you're looking for. I turned this off right now. Okay. This is completely off. So that's called carryover cooking, right? <laughs> it's still cooking. Oh, it's in there, yeah. Yeah. Tony, I'm, I'm, I learned Thank something. you, Tony. Thank you. So why I take these out, it's still cooking here. Because it gets hot, so it's still cooking, still cooking. And we're just going to leave these right here. Take a look at that. that looks Black so and mahi-mahi. Smell of it, then. It smells wonderful. So we're going to put these to the side. Right there, turn off our fan. We almost burned down the place one time. One <laughs> Just time. once? Okay. Just once. So here we go, we're going to do our salsa, you guys. This is cucumber salsa, right? Cucumber salsa, really easy. I'm sure you're going to do it with so many different ways you could do this. I always have my little bowl on the side for little scraps. Okay. So here we go. You want to take the peel off the tomato? My grandma told me that. <laughs> Just dice the tomato, you're just looking for a quick dice, you guys. Do you make salsa at home? Yes. Nice. So Lorianne, um, if someone wanted to learn more about Lorianne's or and or see the services that you offer and schedule an appointment, how do we get a hold of you? Yeah. So you can reach me on my Facebook page, Lorianne's Health and Wellness mm -hmm. and Beauty, and on Instagram as well under oh, Lorianne's cool. Health and Wellness Beauty. Nice. And so you have your do you have your phone number and instant message or what? Would you yeah, like to see? I have my phone number there, and um, you can also DM me and my emails on there as well. Awesome. We'll be sure to do that. Thank you. And then you have, well, what do you have coming up? Mother's Day coming up soon? May. In May. May. I think May. So. Oh, good. April, Easter, and yeah. Mother's Day. So I do have gift certificates as well. Oh, guys. I was going to nice, ask you nice. And, um, you know, gift certificates are nice. You know, also, guys, I like to remind people to keep in mind their kids, their nieces, their nephews that need to be educated on skin care, mm -hmm. you know, during those young years. And not only that, it's not only for women. Men, oh, men. yeah, men. Oh, that's right. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, Mark, we're going to get you scheduled. Yeah, I'm too. down. You know me, I'm down. Yeah. One time my, my back went out, 
And remember, you, you gave me a back massage yes. to help me with my back, and it helped. Yeah. Yeah. Save my life. Yes, I how, was that, how was that walk? You remember? Yes. All swag. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you're into massages, facials, but also the acne. You were talking about teen acne. And... Yeah, so adult acne as well, oh, okay. right? Yeah, you know, I specialize in all skincare needs, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's important to educate the children at a young age, you know, just to help them with their, uh, their esteem and their confidence because a lot of young kids suffer from acne and it really, they're very self-conscious about mm -hmm. it. So um, moms, aunties, uncles, they bring their children, um, junior high, high schoolers, even young college mm -hmm. students to me to educate them on how to take care of their skin. At so home. that's like teaching them a good solid skincare cleaning regimen, like, you know, cleaning your face, exfoliating it, things of that sort. Yeah, and I like to keep it very simple with them, mm -hmm. right? Very simple, You, I mean, as if they don't have enough going on, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, keep it very simple with like a nice cleansing and exfoliation and just to remind them to wear their SPF rain or shine all year long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you get into this business? I mean, you say you've been doing this since 2002? Yeah, so um, my background, when I was just 19 years old, I, um, I got into the medical field and I love the medical field and that's the only field I've ever known and um, to present and in 1998 uh, one of the surgeons I was working for um, was a cosmetic plastic surgeon and um, these estheticians would come in and I would be like oh I could do that you know yeah. I, was, I was a medical assistant at the time right in a PCC which is a patient care consultant <laughs> But I really took an interest in that. So I put myself to school and got my license in 2002. Um, of course, I had to still work full time as a single mom at that time, but I always did my uh, my aesthetics evenings and weekends. Mm -hmm. And today, you been busy forever, you go, girl. Uh, but you know, speed it up, you know, hard work pays off, right? Yeah, definitely. Working full time, going to night school, doing a part time job with Raising the, the kids. Right? Mm -hmm. But um, it was all worth it because mm -hmm. look where I'm at today. Right? You're here with us. Yeah, that's right. I'm here with you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a beautiful story. And now you're doing what you're passionate about, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm doing what I love to do full time. Aesthetics is um, my passion, helping people educate them. Mm -hmm. I also, I treat within and outside. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yes. And so for inside, I educate people um, on how important it is to have the proper nutrients in their bodies with natural plant enzymes, right? Okay, okay. Because we can't get the proper nutrition in our bodies from food sources, right? So between both of them, it's just my whole business and world is complete, right? Yes, it's well-rounded, yeah. Yeah, it's well-rounded. So I, I really love it. I really love helping people um, and educate them on how to take care of their bodies and putting the proper nutrients in their bodies. That's awesome. I'm not crying, it's telling you look out, all right? Look at him, you made him cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you need some tissue. <laughs> Here we go. So we got some uh, diced cucumber, okay. tomato, diced red onion in there. We're going to get some cilantro. We'll get some lemon. And I'm going to clean my eyes real quick. Here we go, you guys. We got the cucumber, diced, tomato, diced, red onion, diced. Jalapeno, I only used a, a quarter, I mean a half of one. I don't know how much you like heat, but I just put half of one, light heat, de-seated it, make sure you use gloves when you do it. Okay. Uh, you don't want to rub your eyes after or go to the bathroom after and you're done. Forget about it. <laughs> it's happened before, believe me. So what do we got in there? Revamp, we got English. Yeah, we got, we, got, uh, we got English cucumber, the one that you don't have to peel. Uh -huh. You can eat the seed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, eat the uh, peel on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, red onions diced. Tomato dice and a half a jalapeno dice. Okay. We're gonna add some uh, cilantro. We're gonna add salt, pepper, and some lemon, and we'll be ready for that. And we'll be ready to plate. Okay. So let's finish this up here, you guys. Wow. It's a nice cool getting ready for the spring and summer menu. You know what I mean? Yes. We got uh, when we have Easter coming up, it should just be a good little salsa. Okay. And I, mean, I didn't chop it too much. Just a nice little mm -hmm. ch rough chop on that. Get some lemons. It's really good and colorful. The colors are so good. Bring this up here. It has seeds, so make sure you use your hand to get rid of the seeds. Remember, you always have a little bowl for your garbage. Okay. I learned that in a, a long time ago. So, Mark, how long have you been a chef? 
Uh, I've been cooking for about 20 something years. About 20 something years. I, I uh, started in Gilroy, been cooking ever since. Ever since, forever. Nice. Love it. That's I awesome. said, when God gives you a gift, you gotta use it. Right. You gotta use it. Salt, pepper. You wanna get me a spoon from that drawer right over there? Of course. Please, thank yes. you so much. Yes. We're gonna mix this now, you guys. So we have tomatoes, nice. red onion, cucumbers, mm -hmm. uh, salt, pepper, cilantro, and lemon juice. Nice. And Tony, you're gonna kill me. I didn't put lemons on the list. Sorry, guys. How does that look right there? Oh, it looks beautiful. I can't wait to taste it. Even on top of some uh, grilled oysters. Ooh. This, I mean, now this. you're talking my language. <laughs> look at this. This is amazing right here. It looks really Let's Take a look at this, you guys, right here. Okay. Look at those, those, all those colors. Mm, that's beautiful. That looks amazing. Oh, sorry, I just spilled some. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get ready to plate. So oh, hold okay. on, everybody, you guys. We're going to get plating real quick. So we have our blackened mahi. Look at that, it looks delicious. Look at that, yeah. that blacking. That's what you're looking for. Nice. You got a nice char to it. Uh, you're laying all the all the, the spices and herbs, the thyme that was in there, really blackened, and it just came out amazing. I, re I really enjoy that. I really, I'm happy with that, the blackening right there. We also have the cucumber salsa. Mm -hmm. Look at this, nice mixture of your tomatoes. And if you wanted more heat, add some habaneros. You want to add some avocado, diced up avocado, that you can do whatever you want. It's your world. Make your make it, you guys. What we're gonna do is make a little pile here. Are you excited to try this, Lori? I'm so excited. My <laughs> mouth is watering. <laughs> so which one should we give her here? We'll give her this one right here. This looks amazing. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. Let's add a little bit of this on the side. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, Chef, you really make it look so beautiful. The presentation we're, we're is there, beautiful. We're almost there. There we go. And we have some nice lemons on the side right there. There we go, you guys. Oh, we have our, our blackened mahi mahi with a beautiful cucumber salsa. Mm -mm. Really easy, really quick. Impress your girlfriend and wives out there, guys. Come on. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna have Lorian try this and hopefully she gives us a thumbs up. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we have Lorian Prada Huerta with Lorian's Health, Wellness, and Beauty. I want you to give this a try. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs up. <laughs> so try right. it out. Let me know. Here it goes. You gotta get some of that salsa. You gotta get a good piece of that. Alrighty, here we go. Just don't be it. shy. You can yeah, don't be shy. It. Oh my God, look at how nice and wow, meaty Wow, look at how meaty and thick it is. It looks good, it looks good, but now let me taste it. I gotta you get, get some, some of, that of salsa? the salsa on here. Oh my gosh. Thumbs up. Hold on. <laughs> She's still going, so that's good. I think mm. she went in for a second one, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Good, good, thank you so much. And check her out on Facebook and Instagram, you guys. Lorianne's Health, Wellness, and Beauty. Get your facials done and get fixed from inside out. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. Quarantine Cooking, episode 37, and we're out, you guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.